Okay. So this is Leslie, right? <laughs> okay. So first of all, thank you for granting us this uh, interview. It's a pleasure and, uh, and an honor, of course. Uh, so the, the pretty, your, your face is pretty much everywhere, uh, and you are in the right center. <laughs> this means something. Uh, you are the uh, the one who inspired this uh, project and uh, led lead uh, basically this group of crazy people <laughs> with you. <laughs> and mostly of my compositions, uh, what uh -huh. we play, and this is a this is a great, wonderful uh, uh, opportunity. This we have a kind of uh, message and, and, and mm -hmm. a mission because uh, we do believe that music can make the better. The world is a better place, so uh, uh -huh. that's what I'm here for. That's awesome. So, and uh, especially when you and we as Europeans, we are coming to the United States nowadays, uh -huh. and I've uh, always been a by heart American. Mm -hmm. As uh, this, this based on my biography, born and raised behind the Iron Curtain, been told always, you know, that I'm never going to have a chance to see the United States ever. Mm -hmm. And always been, you know, the, the the longing for freedom, this this spirit of freedom, and the American way of life. That's always been my my kind of guiding light uh -huh. uh, in a dark communist era where I was growing up, and uh, and be coming back. Oh, you grew up in you grew up in, uh, uh, in Budapest, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. in, in Budapest, Hungary. And when we come in, uh, also to say thank you for, for America uh, uh, to showing us the way to freedom and. Uh, Helping us tremendously, in, uh, yeah. But it's also uh, today when I I'm, I'm traveling in the United States and speaking to friends, I have to realize that the country is very much divided. And from the early morning to the late night, you hear always what is dividing you. And my songs is about what is uniting you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is uh, so this is about that. Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, sure. Hi, Julia Joseph. She, she's an artist, and, and on these type of questions, what you were asking right uh -huh. now, it's hard to not to be involved. Yes, it's, 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 I think musicians in, in two different age groups, mm -hmm. like uh -huh. my daughter and myself, uh, yes, we have to be reflecting one hand side, mm -hmm. and, and, and of course we are involved. I mean, I mean it's, it's, a, it's, you know, the love of the, our audience is propels our, our music. And then our, the only power that we have as musicians is come from our audience. And this is responsibility. And responsibility means the mission. And the mission means to, to play music. As I was 16, I had the same uh, way to look at it, what makes the world a better place. And so, of course, we are involved. Of course, we are reflecting. And, uh, and, and, and a society brings up movements like uh, 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 then, then of course we are reflecting and, and are part of it, and, uh, and idealistically we also start sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and you know, artists should be inconvenient. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, or some, sometimes being a rebel. You know, to, to this is important, and uh, and um, and music is is differing from literature and paintings because mm -hmm. all those art are. Uh, executed by a, a one person in a, a hidden place, yes. but music is a communication. You know, there's always a group of, group of people, uh, mm. and and that that makes already a reflecting society, uh, it, because the way we, we create our stuff is is already a communication within. But but I'm more than happy to, uh, if you may allow me, involve sure. my daughter uh, and the answers because. Um, you know, the, the greater thing um, uh, for me as a father, as an artist, uh, that one inside that, that uh, I play with my daughter, mm -hmm. but um, the other, which is in that case even more important, because she could play it's alone, a it's a uh, uh, and I could play on my own, so this, uh, but, but which even more important, having the chance to learn from your own kids. How, how they, because you teach them the whole year, the whole, mm -hmm. the whole life, to see things, you know, I was I was bringing my kids to America countless times, and 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 one day, you know, you start to hear their reflection, how sure. different they look at it from their generational point of view, and my little daughter is, is just uh, as radical as I was a rebel, mm -hmm. you know, and as you go on up, you have to you know pay your bills, you know, take sure. responsibilities, you know, 
Focho. Your children? Yeah, yeah. And you know, so, so you kind of holding back your rebellion uh, and you're trying. But if you, uh, as young as she is, thanks God, she is not holding back her rebellion. Okay. It's good because that, that, that was my teaching. Yeah. You know, so, uh, uh, um, so you don't have to follow uh, uh, anything, especially not your destiny. Uh, um, yeah, you, you should choose it. You know, I was not accepting that that I, I was born in a communist time. You know, I, I was I was creating my sure. destiny, and, this, and so you change it. And um, yeah. for, for our generation, it's just um, really necessary to use these tools of social media and and this transparent form of communication that we just really speak up what bothers us mm -hmm. and others and what we see in the world. Because there is so much still in uh, disbalance when it comes to social issues or international issues, and it's just good to speak up and also to talk to all the, all the generations about these things. Because um, yeah, we're all in the same boat, mm -hmm. planet Earth. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's that's truly true, and I I totally agree, uh, especially when it comes to the point that um, an artist has to be. Uh, inconvenient has to be uncomfortable like it has to make people think and like basically make people look at the mirror and and, and see basically what they are and uh, and what they're doing uh, now uh, I would like to ask a question both uh, from your uh, perspective, uh, perspective. Uh, from so you really started in a contest that socially speaking politically speaking uh, was was very very tough but somehow was still a green field like uh, in the 60s and in the 70s basically uh, nothing was basically uh, uh, done yet uh, so you had your own difficulties starting your career and uh, what you see that it's uh, harder for your daughter now compared when you started and uh, and instead what do you see that it's um, easier for you compared to, to your father so it's a little bit the opposite so it's like what 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 do you think or if you think that it's mm. harder now for your daughter when compared you know, considering the music industry yeah. you know 30 40 years of music it's yeah, not yeah, easy yeah. to be original anymore. <laughs> yeah so from my point of view mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was part of the classic music industry, mm -hmm. so uh, it had a lot of great aspects, mm -hmm. especially you could uh, make a solid, decent social life, mm -hmm. you could build a family on what we were doing, because uh, selling records is selling records, uh, uh, you know, and in a certain way was the income shared, so this is, this is the the financial part, which is which is gone, so the uh, the change of paradigms uh, uh, was causing an implosion, and the implosion is uh, is resulting in a in a, that we were accounting in a meantime not the charts, how much albums you have uh, sold, but how many clicks you were giving away for free uh, your music. This is the downside. Yeah. The upside is an artistic issue. Uh, I think the autonomy uh, and the, the free uh, minding, uh, the free mindset uh, of an artist is just uh, regained. So, so the, uh, Julia is much freer than me because uh, the changing uh, of the way, uh, uh, I mean, the democratic revolution of the way of how we produce mm -hmm. is not uh, requiring hundred thousands of dollars to hire big studios and big, you know, all this. Yeah. So uh, this is the upside. So so uh, that that means the creation of music uh, uh, became reachable, accessible. Uh, and this is very good. And uh, and also the spreading out the distribution of music is accessible. So uh, this is the very upside. So so. Uh, our God, Frank Zappa, said uh, once that E and R is excellent in the relationship. And you will never have to uh, uh, experience a damn E and R who is saying uh, absolutely bullshit about her music. You know, uh, so this is these are the two total different uh, uh, sides of it. Because the today's music industry, the remaining one, is a music interested, music driven in industry. But it was not in my time, you know, because it was so much money that was a money driven. Uh, 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 thing, you know, and you had to learn that, uh, and, and uh, they were not so much interested in a in a uh, rebel like me, uh, a musical rebel <laughs> like me. Uh, I just had to find my my way to 
to learn and teach uh, uh, the situation. So she's much more liberal. Uh, 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 Hold on. <laughs> so I totally agree yeah. with what he said. So true indeed. Like um, I feel there's sort of a uh, more honest way of communicating your music through media. Um, and yeah, we do have more facilities, and we have the opportunity of home recording today. We have a lot of new technology, not only concerning distribution, but also the way we record. We can collaborate with other musicians internationally by just sending by an email a tape. That's really special for you. That makes things easier. But on the other hand, of course, there's a lot more competition than when it comes to Well, every every music lover knows that you sometimes you listen to a hit once and you uh, fall in love with the, with that song. Some of the times you actually discover a song like after ten times, twenty times you listen to it and then you finally get it. The problem was that you were just like not aligned to, to the meaning or the purpose of the song, and then you find out later. This is really so. How how what should happen uh, in order to uh, allow young artists like you uh, to make a living out of music? Because that's that's the generational problem. Is that now you have more technology, more resources, more possibilities. But as your father said, he could make a living out of uh, these careers. For young people, it's much, much harder. So it's something that has to come the, from the consumer, you think, that we should be willing to pay more for music because we have to understand it's a product of art. But culture. It's, a, it's culture. So it's like we have to understand that, you know, nowadays it's like I'm willing to pay more for my vegetables because I know that they are organic and we are not like uh, uh, taking advantage of farmers. So let's pay vegetables more because this way we are protecting them. We should start maybe considering that with art, that we have to nurture artists. But we cannot just expect that it comes from free from Spotify, that it's in the air. You know what I believe? Just to understand. This is an incredible great trumpet player, Till Brunner. Not that I'm trying to get attention. It's just this is this is the three generations now. Uh, uh, uh. A, of, a good friend of mine, a photographer from Germany called Jim Lakedi, he took you know pictures of everybody. He said, "Well, look at other projects and other cultures that have been dying, and everybody was watching." So at some point, we, we seem to assume that some things cannot die, you know, because it's absurd and it's not absurd. It's very important. It's, no, because I'm, I'm, Jim is great. I'm talking from the point of view of uh, I, I've played saxophone for eight years. I'm a huge music lover. My father was a, a huge music lover. He introduced me to world music. And what I find extraordinary nowadays is that back in the 80s and in the 90s, if I was curious about South Korean music, it was almost impossible even to imagine how to get something. Now, now if you actually make music and you want to try to be influenced by that, you just start two clicks away. You go on YouTube or wherever you want to go. And I think for the creative process is fantastic. But again, if this has to be a career. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's a general uh, mirror of how our entire capitalistic system of mm -hmm. changing money and, and goods and culture as well. It's just way too corrupt and, and not sustainable for human beings in general or our societies. And I think um, seeing that our culture dies because of this is, is just a, a big mirror we have to face and look into and see that, um, that this way of economy is, is not sustainable. We have to rethink everything. And, um, yeah, it's like this is an issue, but it's part of a larger issue that we have to understand that it can be everything price driven. Like because it's cheaper, it's better because it's cheaper. It's a, it's a, it's a very dangerous uh, like a downward spiral. I also think that, that uh, it's 
say that everything isn't now, well, it's, it's, it's very dangerous because it's not a trophy like this. So you cannot win elections by you know, making sure that yeah. this is going to be valued or paid. So all the stuff that, that wins you elections uh, is on a different end. It's the same as nature, and, uh, you know, how, to, how to treat nature, and, uh, you know, vegetables, meat, and art. We're all on the same level. It's interesting, but, uh, but somebody's got to take the responsibility to make sure that we keep on existing. And I think music is part of the same source. We have we can change. Well, definitely, I would say that uh, it's it's very very interesting. And I think uh, I like the the point where this interview uh, got because we talk about uh, intergenerationals and uh, uh, issues, uh, but also uh, opportunities and uh, and what maybe the uh, music industry should start to uh, focus on. Of course, again, as consumers, we can just like enjoy uh, like almost free music for ten ninety nine a month. We have also to get responsibility. So I think it was very um, interesting. And, and I li like and thank you uh, from our side. Yeah. It, it was a very interesting thing. You are ready, uh, more than ready to pay more for your vegetable because that is organic. So watch out for tonight because yes. this is going to be uh, an organic concert. I, 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 I leave you with this quote because you gave me a new one, but I leave you with my old one. Uh, pop music is today very often like a text message. Our concert is a, with a pen, handwritten love letter to our audience. I love that. Right? <laughs> thank you for This me. is our translation to the okay. organic. Okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> I, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't take your microphone. Yes, please. And, uh, <laughs> and the gentleman you were talking you. to, you, you see, uh, this, this is the lineup, and you see him here. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, because, uh, for the second, uh, 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 the second, u